Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh In this video, I will be explaining the method of practice so, the, so that once we start on the letters and I introduce them and how they look like in the sizing this is gonna be key in you achieving a well-rounded practice that will help you master the script and the key is tracing this booklet that I made was from a book by Mukhtar Ali Mufid al Rahman in Khat al Ruqa, or Ruqa script. He has a book, it's a free PDF you can find online. I took uh, practices and resources from his book and made it into a PDF as you see here. And what I do is that at the top is where his writing is, and then every bo uh, following line is a empty spot for tracing and that is where that is where i use my pen to follow along that and practice the motions so that i ensure that my hand is following the motions correctly that is a key aspect in practicing additionally i have different shades so the first shade is a little darker so i can trace clearly and know exactly where i'm going the second shade is a little lighter where it's almost as if I'm writing without a guide, which is really good and for your practice and so that so that eventually you're able to write it without any guide at all. After the uh, the first part of the course, where we'll finish all the individual letters and that will take a decent amount of time to finish, we will move on to connected letters. With the connected letters. The practices will be as following. You'll have the letter, as in this case, the letter is B, and you're gonna connect it to all the other letters in the alpha, Arabic alphabet to see how it all connects. Alif, Ta, Jim, Ha, Kha, etc. And you practice, and so additionally, in addition to the practice you get on the B connections, you get you get to practice the other letters as well. And so that goes on and repeats itself with every other letter. Jim ha ha with the rest of the alphabet. And furthermore, furthermore. So you continue to practice every single letter with all the other letters and its different connections. Once you're done with that step, you learn how the letters look like in the different forms, in the middle, in the end, in the beginning. So you're able to understand how to form a word or a sentence. Once you learn all the connections and all the different steps, you move on to making actual sentences. Uh, and at first, it's going to feel a little weird because there are rules of how high it is above the line. So all letters go or stay on the line except for four. Uh, and it is combined in the word jama'ahu. Uh, so jim, ha ha, mim, ayn, and ha. If I'm not mistaken, yes, correct. So four, four, all four of those are uh, letters in the Arabic alphabet that go under the line or below the line, unless with with a few exceptions, obviously. So in this case, you see the harfim goes under the line. The rest of the the letters in the alphabet stay above the line. So obviously, you have to take into consideration how high you're beginning, so that you end up on the line and you don't end up too high or too low. And that takes some practice and that will come again with more tracing practice so you're able to develop those skills and learn them as we go. So that's for the practice. You can find Ruqa uh, writings online and you, you, know, you can download them yourselves and kind of create this tracing format by like taking the image and making uh, copies of it and you know tracing through that so that's something you can do just make sure that it fits with the size of of your pen so if the pen is like size two millimeter make sure that when you're um creating the image and you expand it or shrink it on word document that it is adjustable and fits the pen perfectly so to summarize use tracing as a methodology for your practice as that will help you develop the hand skills you need if your hand skills develop wrong to begin with, 
you're going to have issues down the road because fixing a wrong hand motion is much harder than getting it right the first time. So you can find plenty of ruqa works online through PDFs and images. Get, uh, get those, turn them into images, adjust them on a Word document to the size of your pen and uh, practice tracing these works over and over again. You won't be exposed to all the ruqa script in this one course, which is why I'm emphasizing this point, because as you go to learn uh, ruqa and continue to learn it after this course, as well as other scripts, I highly suggest that you you know immerse yourself in this art. You, um, you follow a bunch of Instagram and Facebook pages that work on ruqa. You see the different works, you see the different words that are in, because some letter combinations can be really difficult. Others can be really simple. So keep that in mind. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in another lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.